I know, they're super nerdy, but I really like them. Really enjoy the fact that I ordered them online for like 20 or $30, and they look this good. If you are in the need for glasses, go to Zenny Optical, you will not be disappointed. Anyways, we're going to get to today's DIY, and it is all about summer wear. So it's getting hot outside. And I don't know about you, but when it's hot, I wear a lot of tank tops. I wear shirts that have cutouts in the back because they're very popular right now. And a lot of shirts sometimes maybe are a little bit see-through. So you don't want to wear your bra underneath that and have everybody see it. It just doesn't look good and nobody wants to see it. So your alternative is wearing something kind of like a bandeau or maybe like a bralette. And that's what today's DIY is. There's two different versions of them. And it's basically the backs of them are just different. So you do not need a sewing machine for this. You are going to need to do a little bit of hand stitching, but it's really easy and these are very comfortable and really cheap to make. I think maybe total the materials cost me around $5. So if you don't want anyone to see your bra anymore, watch the DIY. <laughs> Okay, to start off, I bought a black bandeau for two or three dollars at the dollar store. I've got some stretchy lace fabric. I also bought some stretchy elastic. There's scissors, black thread, a couple of needles, and some pins to hold things in place. So starting off with the bandeau, I decided to cut this in half. That way we have a front for each of our bandeaus. Yes, one's a little bit more ideal than the other, but this is just uh, making the best out of one piece of material. And I decided to cut off a little bit of the edges on this bandeau just because I thought that it was a little bit too wide for my liking so after I trimmed that off we're going to go ahead and take our stretchy elastic I folded this in half and then I folded it in half again so I have four equal pieces because I wanted four strips along the back so then you can go ahead and grab your thread so just pulling out as much as you want here putting it through the hole in the needle pulling it all the way through tying a knot at the end and then you can begin your stitching so you can really just do however many stitches you think is going to be strong enough to hold this in place and when you're all done obviously just cutting it off tying a couple of knots and then trimming that excess thread so I decided to actually do the two exterior bands first and then I placed the two in the center and just kind of eyeball so that they were evenly spaced out you can measure them so after you've sewn all of them on the one side flip it over and you can sew them onto the opposite side in the right place and make sure that your straps aren't twisted okay so we can move on to our next bandeau again I decided to trim off a little bit of excess here and that was probably the worst idea I had this bandeau is a lot smaller than I wanted but uh, you know that's just the way it is so I'm taking my piece of stretchy lace fabric, I've just pinned it here to the side and I'm folding down the corner and I decided to use my sewing machine. I figured it would hold a little bit better than hand stitching with the lace. And I also just thought, well, this is gonna be a lot quicker. Turns out, no. It was no quicker at all whatsoever. What the <laughs> Yeah, a little bit angry that my sewing machine completely broke on me. So back to uh, plan B, we're going to do some more hand stitching. Again, just folding this corner down here because the lace on the back is a little bit thinner than the front. So I wanted them to match up on the sides nicely. So once you've pinned that in place, I'm just weaving my needle in and out between the two pieces of fabric, pulling that all of the way through. It's just a quick way to do some sewing. And I would say that I probably went back and forth about four times just to make sure that that stitch was very very secure. You can cut that off, tie off the ends, and trim off the excess fabric that you have and just do that to both sides and flip it inside out so that the seam is on the inside and it looks something like this, which is just a little bit more clean. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pleased to meet you. So it's really easy to make. Give it a try and no one's going to have to see your bra all summer long and you're going to be very, very comfortable. I basically live in these because I love them so much. 
I will say if you are larger chested, it's probably not going to be ideal for you as you're likely still going to need the support of a real bra. But if you have no chest and you've been blessed with no boobs like I have been, this is our one advantage. So use it and love it and embrace it. So give this DIY a try and uh, send me some photos of what you come up with. I'd love to see them. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Janelle Steeper. And when you are tagging me in those photos, don't forget to use the hashtag to DIY for. So give me a like if you enjoyed this DIY. Comment below and let me know whether or not maybe you want to see some more DIYs like this one. I can do that for you. You just got to let me know what you want to see. Next week we have a special edition of To DIY For because I'm actually currently on vacation right now with my family having the best time in the world at a cottage. Don't believe me? Take a look at last year's vacation. This is the video my boyfriend puts together every single year and it is just so amazing. And yes, he will be doing another one this year. So I'm actually going to be doing my DIY at the cottage this year because it's going to be cottage themed. So subscribe and you can come back next Wednesday for that new DIY. Cheers. Why can't I figure this out? Ah! It's too much information. Talk too fast. And I'm no. Uh, why does this always take me so long? Hmm. <laughs>